it is Saturday. That means what? it's Saturday matinee time, motherfuckers. 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 Saturday matinee means that we are here to do another stoner movie, and that's pretty much all we do. Movies with weed references in them. Sometimes it's all about weed. Sometimes there's just a couple of weed references, but either way, it's going to be in there. What ifs? And no. today, our feature presentation is none other than Broken Lizards Super Troopers. Yeah. Now, um, I feel like it's Saturday morning. We just got up and ate breakfast. We're rolling up that first joint, smoking this shit up, ready to go. Pop on your, your favorite podcast and get right to it. Yep. And um, I think that there's no uh, there's no better way to end the month of January than with uh, than with Super Troopers. I think it's a great a great film. It's a classic comedy. There's a lot of uh, a lot of iconic lines and scenes in this movie that that continue on throughout my life. And there was a there was one in particular that I was just watching on YouTube. Oh yeah, uh the the meow, the cat game. Yeah. I still say that to this day, right meow. And yeah. I'll even I'll even type it out in text messages. Anybody that gets uh text messages or Facebook messages from me know that I say it sent I just sent it right meow. Uh let's do it meow, you know, yeah. every once in a while I throw it in there. So Yeah, and I'm I'm super excited about the next one. Yep, Super Troopers it, too. It's coming. Yeah, I think it's gonna be dope. I, they are already filming it or filmed it or whatever. It's like and it was it's all, happening and it's gonna be the shit. I think it was all crowdfunding, which was dope. What happened? Were you just bent over like, <laughs> oh, the other way? You were looking the other way. Your voice was all far and distant, and then it got super clear when you popped your head up. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, bro. I think that. Super Troopers Two was all crowdfunded. They did a uh, yeah. They did a GoFundMe for it, which is dope because they were like, "Hey, did you like Super Troopers? Do you want to see a second Super Troopers? Give us money, and then you will get you know all of this. You get like your name in the credits, and you get uh you get like a copy of the movie when it comes out, like mailed to your house or something for free, a DVD or <laughs> Blu-ray of it, a VHS. All right. Everybody gets a VHS. So that's dope, man. I think it's uh it's cool that they're out there doing it themselves because they're gonna get all the money instead of a production company getting all the money. Yeah, and I think it's it's um happening in all aspects of entertainment. Everybody's going independent and that's the way to be, you know what I mean? These guys started independent, stayed independent, still independent. Yep. And they're doing their thing and I think that that's like the most commendable, you know what I'm saying? It's that that most highly respectable thing honestly because like you don't need anybody it's proven all the time and i'm just i'm excited for the next movie i think it's going to be amazing the first movie was amazing you know what i mean they they all really act good together they're all like equally good in their own ways yeah and i think that as a team they like will prevail you know what i mean like it it, it usually does so i'm super excited i mean like super troopers was one of a kind you know what i mean like there was nothing else like that yeah you know and, broken uh, it, Broken Lizard are they're definitely one of the best like acting teams, comedy yeah. teams. They're all the same people in all the movies. They all work with their friends and uh along the line they've been getting, you know, bigger and bigger stars in their movies. And uh you know, I know uh Super Troopers wasn't the first movie, was it? No, it was uh Puddle Cruiser was their first movie, which was one that didn't really get a lot of a lot of uh a lot of the praise that maybe it deserved i want to say that i saw it maybe i only saw parts of it but i know that it didn't really stand out to me i don't even remember what it was about but and super there troopers, was one more before that or uh, after that i mean super troopers was their second movie so puddle cruisers was uh something about college it was a movie about college that was entered into Sundance. And on the cover of the movie, it says, from the guys who brought you Super Troopers. But 
it was released in 1996 and Super Troopers was released in 2001. So, I don't know what the fuck. I don't that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it was a a repackaging, but yeah, I don't know why that cover would be on the Wikipedia page. It's weird. So it was Puddle Cruisers, Super Troopers, Club Dread, Beer Fest, Slam and Salmon, Broken Lizard stands up, and then Super Troopers Two is coming this year. So yeah. Slam and Salmon is another good one that snuck by me, and then I saw it after a while. Someone let me borrow it. Have you seen that? No, but I think I'm gonna check it out. It's fucking hella funny. So yeah, I think we should do a thing. You know, like we'll revisit these guys again. Yeah, because they definitely... do another one of them, and I I like the guys from uh, the um, Shaun of the Dead trilogies. You know the um, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. They have the they have a trilogy together, and um, oh no, there's a few like there's a few uh, teams like this that we could like touch on later. Yeah, so um, I have. Uh... I have a clip that I want to play, but uh, you want to get into a smoke sesh first? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, let's do it. Want to do karate in the garage? Yep. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yep. Uh, everybody out there, go ahead and pack your bowls, heat up your nails, flick your bicks, snap your picks, and hashtag them NHP smoke sesh. We will all smoke together. You got some uh, some theme music set up for us? Yep. Something that's topical? Yep. You always do. Why don't you lay it on us and let's get high? Yep. Oh, got a little terroristy. Sorry about that. Fitting song. Yeah. It sounded like Rob Zombie. Is that Rob Zombie? No, it says German techno from Super Troopers. <laughs> it has like yeah, that. Hey, the song is Biddy Buddy Biddy Boo Bubbles. Biddy Buddy Biddy Boo Bubbles. Of course. <laughs> of course that's what it's called. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, you didn't why, hear why it? Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it be that? You didn't hear it say that a bunch? There's that's a, what it says. It's a dead giveaway. Yeah. So uh so I have this clip that uh, that stuck with me throughout my whole life. So this is um, this is Rabbit, and uh, I forget the other guy's name. They are uh, they are pulling over Jim Gaffigan. You know the comedian Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. This was before he was pale. He was in a lot of movies. And he was just regular pink, and then he got paler and paler over the years, and now he's white. So, here it is. Uh, sorry about that. All right, ma'am. Hand over your license and registration. Your registration? Uh, Hurry up, ma'am. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There's something funny here, boy? No. Well, then why are you laughing, Mr. Larry Johnson? All right, man, where were we? 
I'm sorry, are you, are you saying meow? Am I saying meow? I, I, th I thought you... Don't think, boy. Meow, do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> meow, what is so damn funny? I could have swear you said meow. Do I look like a cat to you, boy? <laughs> Am I jumping around all nimbly bimbly from tree to tree? No, no. <laughs> Am I drinking milk from a saucer? <laughs> Well, do you see me eating mice? <laughs> hey, you stop laughing right now. Yes. Now, I'm going to have to give you a ticket on this. But... No buts, meow. That's the law. Not so funny meow, is it? <laughs> Not so funny meow, is it? Meow. <laughs> meow. There's that one last meow that he throws yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, Classic. So that is one of many games that they play on the road, and I hope that uh, I hope that in the new movie we get to learn some more games because they talk about it all the time, and whenever they bring up a game, they say it like there's a whole list of games. I think the most memorable part from that movie that stuck out for me was like when they uh, pulled over the Schnozberry guys, you know, and yeah. they kept pulling them over. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, I'm already pulled over. I can't pull over any farther. Yeah, and like, the opening all that scene shit was classic. so fucking funny, dude. I was like, How I was like all... thinking of it as a real scenario, you know? And I was like, thinking like, wow, if that really happened to somebody, you'd probably like have a panic attack. You'd probably like have a heart attack or something. How he's all like, uh, he's all like, where are you guys headed? And they're like, we're just headed over the border to get some French fries and gravy, sir. <laughs> and then he's all like, Canada, huh? And he looks over, and then he's all, almost made it. And it's just like, that's scary as fuck. To just to hear that from a cop, you almost yeah. made it. So I found out that this movie was made because of Jay Chander, Chander Cesar is his name. It's Chen, Chandra Seeker. No, it's Chandar Cesar, Chandra Cesar. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh, because he has this whole bit about it in his stand-up about the pronunciation of his name. And uh, he he got pulled over by a state trooper. They they used to ride around all the time and, you know, probably smoke weed and shit. It says that after college they went to a lot of weddings, like friends' weddings, so they were always in cars together and naturally got pulled over and they would all pretend to be badasses and talk trash and shit but when they got pulled over and the cop comes up to the car they all turned into pussies especially jay would just turn into like a little wimp and just be like yes officer sorry i'm so sorry and that you know uh one confrontation of them being pulled over turned into them making this movie about them as super troopers yeah. Or as state troopers, rather. And that's uh, that's dope. Like, So it really was, they were in that situation of the Schnozberry kids. That's crazy. And then they were like, what if we made a movie of what it would be like to be on the other side of that? All right. And now we have one of the fucking Glad best stoner movies ever. Yeah, we're stoked. We've got fucking dope movies. Yeah. Um, did you know that the syrup chugging scene was real? Like they were really just chugging syrup? God, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says they tried it. They tried drinking like some tea or something first, but it didn't look realistic enough. So they just like went and chugged straight syrup. God. Yeah. That must have been bad. And, but then again, um, now that I think about it, I have chugged syrup before at, uh, at an IHOP because of super troopers and because of the chirrup sucking chirrup sucking <laughs> syrup chugging i uh you know me and a lot of other people have probably done a chugging contest in some sort of waffle house at some point and you know it's bad you get but it's not really that bad it's just like thick and uh you know kind of like gross it's really sweet depending on what flavor you get and you get like a sugar high but besides that it's not really that bad so i don't know why i was being such a baby about it <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh that must have been horrible but um also uh it says that the people that 
Farva pulled over and called chicken fuckers was his actual parents. <laughs> That's dope. And, uh, and they didn't know that he was going to say the chicken fucker thing. They knew he was going to say something, but they didn't know that he was going to say that. Yeah, could you imagine, uh, you know, fucking, if you, like, had a kid, and you're old, and your kid becomes an actor and starts his own, not not only becomes an actor, but is part of a team that produces and creates their own movies, and he asks you to come and be in his movie, and that's what he does. He just fucking runs up and says, license and registration, chicken fucker, and then that's it. And uh, probably... You know, I don't know how he talks to his parents, but maybe that was his one time that he could, it was like a get out of jail free card that he could call his dad a chicken fucker where maybe he's had to respect him his whole life. You know what I mean? Yeah, you never know. That's dope. Yeah. Maybe, uh, or maybe they just call each other chicken fuckers all the time and it was no big deal. Oh. We'll never know. We'll never know. Because Broken Lizard died in a plane crash this morning, and that's why we're doing this episode. Yeah, right. <laughs> because they're all dead. So Super Troopers 2, luckily, was filmed already. And uh, it's still going to come out. So yeah. thank God. Um, I found out that in the scene where they were watching Johnny Chimpo and getting high, they actually weren't high. How they got their red eyes was... The makeup artist uh, blew cigarette smoke into their eyeballs, which, nice. uh, which is like, can't you? Couldn't you just rub your eyes? You know what I mean? You know, if you like rub your eyes for a minute and your eyes are all red and puffy yeah. and shit, it's the exact same thing. Why do you have to blow cigarette smoke in their eyeballs? That yeah, seems like a, that seems a little like poorly thought out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can't you just like rub a cat on their face, or maybe just <laughs> maybe just get them high? They they decided to replace the iced tea with real syrup. So why didn't they replace the cigarette smoke with real weed? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they might have, and they're just trying to save their asses right now. Yeah, maybe that's the case because maybe they do smoke weed. I'm, I'm sure they probably do. Actors smoke weed. Everybody smokes weed. I don't care what they say. Yep. So, uh, in the scene where Mac is getting, a, where he's testing out the bulletproof cup, mm -hmm. all right, they actually film that outside of a prison. Yeah. And the prisoners were all up against the, uh, up against the fence yelling at Steve Lemmy, the guy who played Mac. Or was that his name, Mac? Am I getting this right? Am I yeah. saying this right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they were all like fucking yelling at him and screaming shit at him and making fun of him while he was filming it. Yeah. And I bet. You know, you not know, he's all standing out there naked. <laughs> of course, they're probably yelling at him. <laughs> yeah. Not only was he there out there in front of all of his friends and shit in front of in a bulletproof cup, but also in front of a bunch of prisoners. And people that are making fun of him. And imagine if, you know, what if that night he were to be driving, you know, back to the hotel or back to like a restaurant or something, been drinking a little bit, and he fucking hit some kid on his bike and then goes to prison. And they send him to that prison. And then everybody's like, you're the cup guy. I've seen you naked and now I'm going to rape you. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> always got to die in the rape there somewhere. I always got to bring it up. And I'm sorry for people that have actually been raped. Uh, yeah, Mikey. So, I'm going to play a clip. How about that? Yeah, do that. All right. Give me a uh, pie, apple. You want me to hold the spit? <laughs> Just kidding, officer. Barva. So, um, do you want to dip the size your meal for a quarter more? Want me to punch aside your face for free? Some male figure. I'm his dad. And stop with the whole transfer thing. Christ. You know what? I, I gotta go. Let's talk about this later, okay? Okay, bye. Now, don't give me any lip. <coughs> it's just a quarter, and look how much more you get. I said no! It's just 25 cents. Hey, listen, guy. He doesn't want it. I can handle this, Ramathorn. I don't want it! 
Right. Uh, beverage? Give me a uh, liter of cola. A what? <laughs> a liter of cola. <laughs> liter of cola. Do we make liter of cola? Will you just order a large farva? I don't want a large farva. I want a goddamn liter of cola. I don't know what that is. Leader is French. Forgive me some fucking cola before I break Moose fucking lips. All right, all right, relax. That look like spit to you? Yeah. Ah, fuck it. I feel like a real cop again. Well, I wouldn't get used to it because you know it's not going to last. Bullshit. I'm not going anywhere. All right, buddy. Yeah, we're about to get shut down anyway. Oh, yeah? That's a lot of dimp. What do you do uh, if you get transferred? I don't know. I mean, Bobby doesn't want to leave, and I don't want to leave her and Arlo. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what the hell I'm going to do. Uh -huh. ah, who gives a shit? I'm about to win 10 million bucks anyway, right? Are you? What are you going to do with that 10 million bucks? You can't say buy the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'd buy a 10 million dollar car. Yeah, good investment, but I'd pull you over. Bullshit, you could never catch me. Oh, I could never catch you. Well, if you did, I'd activate my car's wings and fly away. <laughs> Damn it, you burger punk! You son of a bitch! Yeah. Wow. Minnesota pours all over his lap. Mm -hmm. Fucking uh, Farva was a great character because everybody has a Farva in their life. Yeah. You know what that I mean? is for sure. Yeah. You know? That's fucking awesome. And uh, Farva was originally supposed to be played by Eric Stolhansk, uh, the guy who played Rabbit. Yeah. And they ended up switching it around last minute. And I think that it's a good it's a good move that they did that. Super smart. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure they both could have played the character. I'm sure you know, but it's cool. That everything happens for a reason, right? Yep, everything happens for a raisin. California raisins. California raisins. Yeah, California raisins. Yo, we're going to get them on the podcast in March. Someday. In March. Someday in March. Sunday. It's going to be the first Sunday of March. It's going to be a church. <laughs> it's going to be a church of cannabis episode with the California raisins. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's uh that's that's a fucking news story right there dropped on the podcast for the first time. Um, the snow cone that Foster uh, took on the head and took a bite of was pretty much a solid chunk of ice. There was supposed to be a mid-scene that would replace the hardened snow cone with a softer one, but it didn't happen, and he just took the hard piece of ice directly to the head. And uh, I don't know if you remember him biting into it, but it looked very hard. It looked, he was just like, <laughs> and <laughs> shaved off like a little tiny fucking bit of it. It wasn't yeah. like a snow cone, soft and edible. So, uh, I wonder if he suffered any sort of brain damage from that. I don't know. Do you remember the captain eating the bar of soap? Yeah. Yeah, and the, and the, it was supposed to be a, bar of white chocolate instead of soap but um, it ended up being some like sugar free white chocolate or whatever because so uh, he was a good actor <laughs> <laughs> he made it seem like he was eating soap <laughs> yeah he's all just give me the damn soap and he took a bite of it and fucking spit it out <laughs> fuck that mm -hmm. uh so I think that one of the best things about this movie is that all of or all of their movies really is that the wide range of characters there really is no there really is no main character you know what I mean it's about yeah. it's about all of them and everybody has someone that they could relate to there's mm -hmm. someone for everyone there's someone that reminds you of you know your homie there's someone that reminds you of your brother and I think that movies like that, they're a lot easier to connect to and a lot easier to, you know, uh, get sucked into. You remember them more. You watch them more. And it, I think that it just has more to offer than just, you know, than like a really good movie that's about two people. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I think the bond was like the the important part. You know, it was about the whole state trooper unit instead of it was like them versus the other guys. You know, and yeah, it was pretty cool. It 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 was definitely fun, definitely an awesome movie. That's what I mean. It's like one of a kind. You know what I mean? Like nothing else was really like that, honestly. And the chemistry that they have just from doing all the movies together just shines through in whatever they do. You know, so the fact that they made this one stand out so well. It's like, I feel like the next one's going to be super well received also, you know what I mean? Because it, it's built up for how many years, you know? What what year did you say this came out? Uh, 2001? Yeah, 2001. It's a long time. Yeah, and actually, uh, sequels, you know? I was, um, I was watching an interview with Jay Chander Cesar, Chander Sakazar, and uh, <laughs> he was... He, he was talking about how um, how they've they've already started making the movie like three times. I want to say that they started making it and then they scrapped it and then started again and then scrapped it. And this is just like like they haven't started filming yet, but this is like the script and everything and like the whole writing process and the plot. They've come up with what they're gonna do and then uh, thrown it all away and restarted twice already. And he said that what it is is that when there gets like a certain demand for something that they're afraid that that they're not going to make it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that what they're doing is they're overthinking it, that they just need to do what they always do and just make a funny movie. Yeah, some more stuff like this. Where did you find out the weigh station? My cruiser weighs 16,000 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> I just got off the phone with Tom McCarter from the budget committee. This thing with Farmer screwed up, Pooch. What? They can't lump us in with that fucking Martian? We're all in the same boat, fellas. But our shenanigans are cheeky and fun. Yeah, I mean, his shenanigans are cruel and tragic. Which makes them not shenanigans at all, really. Evil shenanigans. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. <clears throat> Hey, Farva, what's the name of that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? You mean shenanigans? No! Oh. 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 Right? Put those away! You, you mean shenanigans? Yeah, I know. You got beautiful, big brown lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have your fun, boys. Have your fun. Because I'm going to start looking for a new job. That's funny. They're just all high as fuck. Yeah, super high. I love it. You know what I mean? And that's our that's our genre. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's our shit right there. Yeah, that's I know. You got big, beautiful brown lips. <laughs> <laughs> With the fucking lipstick all over his face and shit. He doesn't even realize. Yep. That's Down some good here. shit. Yeah. And, and they're all like real life scenarios. You know what I mean? Like this shit, this type of shit happens. People are fucking dumb and like they're just exploiting like things that are possibilities, you know, and, it, and it's funny because it makes you realize like your own faults and your own like foibles and things that are like quirkiness or whatever, you know what I mean? Like things like everyday things, like situations like that. Just bringing those to light is like enough, you know what I mean? It's like it's smart. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's good when people when people like uh, when they do it right, because it's uh, a lot of people try to capture that moment and it seems too scripted and you know planned out and kind of uh, like a like a character that they're playing but this seems like you know these guys really did they all grew up together in acting school together and they were roommates for a long time so it's like they really do have this chemistry together and a lot of this shit yeah, is probably before yeah, a lot of it probably is just, you know, off the cuff and out of nowhere, you know what I mean? So it's dope. It's good to see groups like that. There was a <clears throat> there was something I read about um Brian Cox, the guy who plays the chief. Yeah. He has a lot of serious roles. He was in um Let's see. He was in uh, Frasier for a long time. He was He's in that show Deadwood. Um, let's see, some newer stuff. 
Mindscape, uh, the campaign, Syndicate, the veteran. So he's in like a lot of serious like drama shit on TV. Yeah. And um, he said that he wanted a break from serious roles and he wanted to do something that was more light. And he actually contacted Broken Lizard and asked to be part of the movie. Smart. Yeah, so that's dope that they they were getting big enough before they this is their second movie and they were already big enough to where you know registered 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 sex offenders uh yeah. you know like <laughs> established actors and you know possibly registered sex offenders were contacting them and uh Brian Cox is probably not one of those but they were actually reaching out to them wanting to be in their movie which is dope it shows a lot I also found out that uh, the scene at the police ball towards the end when Farva hits the open bar and gets way too hammered, there was no fake vomit required in that scene. That was all real vomit that the actor was vomiting into the toilet. Yeah. So I don't know if uh, it says that he was vomiting for real. I don't know if he was actually drinking for real to make the vomit or if he uh drank some of that fucking uh what's it called epitap i don't know that makes you throw up i think that's what it's called let me see oh no i'm good yeah there's like this stuff that you drink and it makes you uh it induces vomiting and it's for if you eat something poisonous or drink something you're not supposed to or yes. you need to like expel something from your body then you just drink a little bit of this shit and you'll throw up all kinds. Nice. So I'm not sure how he did it, but that was some real puke, which is dope. That's dedication and acting. Did you know that Arcot Thorny Ramathorn was named after Jay's real father? Really? Yeah. Crazy. That's dope. Yep. Little paying homage. Yep. Little shout out to the family tree. Fucking A. That's dope. So it says here that fans are totally responsible for the sequel. Like yeah. how I said, uh, thanks to a crowdfunding campaign, they got $2 million in 26 hours, which is insane. That's yeah, fucking that's insane. They ended up getting a lot more than that, but their goal was for $2 million. Yeah. So and they, they reached it within fucking one a day. So it's like, it's crazy to see that that's how popular the demand is for sure. That's why I feel like these guys are going to do it right. You know what I mean? And, and it shouldn't be hard for them to do because like all they got to do is stick to the rules, right? You know what I mean? Like the rule is like basically recreate the first one over again. Yeah, in a different scenario, you know, it's like they can easily do it if they wanted to. So I, I believe that it'll be smart. I think it'll be funny. I think it'll have a lot of fun stuff. I mean, like I think it'll, I think they'll, they'll do it right because they've had plenty of time to think about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And they just need to stop thinking about it and just make yeah. it. Just sure. make that shit. So, yeah, um, but... the uh, the the police chief. The off the opposite like evil local police chief that played yeah. the bad guy in the movie, uh, Daniel von Bargen. He also was in Silence of the Lambs. And uh, the highway. Yeah, so he was in Silence of the Lambs as well as a bunch of other serious movies. So it's a uh, it's cool that the two police chiefs were. Uh, both like serious established drama actors that were just goofing around playing funny roles. I bet it was a, I bet it was a good time for both. Yeah, of them. I think like it was even, right? Like even on both sides, like there was like a fair amount of like, like between the guys all together. I'm sure they had a lot of time acting, but I mean like with stars like Brian Cox has been around forever, dude. He's fucking super famous. Yeah, and he's from another country and shit, you know. So he's like famous all over the place, internationally famous. And um, it's like, and then the other police chief being an established actor, you know, mixing in with these guys who've like had all the time to work together and then being able to like bounce off of each other always like creates like 
something awesome you know what i mean like it makes everybody creative and i think like that it, like they all push each other so I, like i wonder who they're gonna bring into the fold now you know what i mean like yeah. i don't know if the, i don't know if there's any info about casting or anything but i wonder like i wonder like who's gonna be fucking in it you it know? should be michael douglas oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's your favorite that's what that's not my favorite that's just what i'm gonna say oh. i'm just gonna say michael douglas should be who it is that's uh that's featured in the movie like the older the older gentleman mm. that will be uh like the father figure to everyone because that's kind of what the chief ended up being when he turned into denim dan and put on his blue jeans suit and uh he turned into like fucking he's he's like the group dad you know what i mean yeah and he was just all like i don't know what we're gonna do we'll figure it out let's all drink and then they all go and fuck shit up but uh you know like i think that they need a character like that in the movie and it should be michael douglas if they haven't casted that character yet and they're listening to this then they can have that one for free go ahead and take that idea sweet mm -hmm. so um i think that i'm i'm geeks on the second one i'm gonna go and watch super troopers again even though we just watched it this morning I'm gonna go watch yeah. it again right now. Uh, I got a, I got another clip. Let's smoke and play this. All right, lay it on me. Man, that was fun. Twenty-three. That Porsche is hot. Are you sure? Rabbit. Rabbit. He's going up now. You can join too if you like. No. Get over no. here. No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what? Farber said that car is stolen. What? Stolen? Shit. It's not above them, officers. Hold on. Come on, Thorn, I need this. Look, kid, on any other day, I'd step in here and show you how to swing, but the car is stolen. <laughs> God damn it. You gotta get over there, and you gotta cover. Do it. You're a highway patrolman. Cut it out. Do it. Now turn that off and step out of the car. This is no problem. Hmm? Put your hands in the car and spread them. Oh, now some fun for both of us. Get back in the car. <laughs> Rabbit, get over there and cuff her. <laughs> Up against the car. Ma'am, I hate to do this to you, but you... Would you please put your hands behind your back? No, things are getting kinky, you know? <laughs> Arlo! Come on, Randy. Yeah. 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 With with I believe an interview. What really? Uh, let's see. What's today? Yeah, we're gonna be back on Tuesday with um with Scotty D. I believe. Sweet. Yep. So Scotty D. will be in the house talking about his new project and uh, whatnot. So tune in for that. Um, make sure you go and visit our website. Subscribe on iTunes. And, um, you know, leave. I made it so our blog posts in the news section can now be commented on. So go there, leave some comments, give us some feedback, interact with us, and uh, we'll see you later. Peace. The Natural Habitat Podcast.